This is the Celestial Energy Brother Wisdom. What's going on, guys? Uh, we got a little message here. All right. Um, I get a lot of messages in my while I'm asleep. Okay. And my concern was the atmosphere, and you know, we was talking about the atmosphere. And I'm going. It's, it's time to teach the, our people what's going on in the atmosphere, and these scientists. Uh, these Saxon scientists know this is why they work so hard to try to make everything cold. Our atmosphere is made up of dark energy, all right? And we know this. We know the atmosphere is made up of dark energy. We know the atmosphere has multiple dark energy particles, just like we had that last message talking about the dark energy um, that the cosmos is made of, you know, it's carbon 50. And there are other elements up in the cosmos besides carbon that makes up the dark energy. I was doing a quick video, so I um, I was on, on my way picking up my son uh, so we could go to the gym. And um, I didn't have time to really get into that message, but I wanted to put that message out there. But when we're talking about as far as within our realm, um, there's a lot of energy in the atmosphere and there's a lot of carbon. All right. Um, and when we talk about carbon, we're talking about, you know, pure energy. All right. We're talking about, we explain carbon, that dark energy is literally carbon 50. All right. It's literally carbon 50. And it's a powerful atom that um, literally um, reshapes everything. So let me show you something real quick here. All right. Let me show you something real quick. And um, all right. This is what uh came up with here. This is neon atom because neon is in the atmosphere. The neon is connected to carbon 50. OK. And but. And you see, if you can see this right here, you got neon, you got carbon 50, you got carbon neon, carbon 50. But connected to the neon is a hydrogen atom that's connected to carbon 50. All right. And this is why we say in our atmosphere is shifting over to a hydrogen based atmosphere. So it's like for every atom. All right. And this is a this is the time it shows this is neon. And you got carbon 50, neon carbon 50, you got it, but then you got a hydrogen atom that's connected to it. Hydrogen is a carrier of energy. All right. You have to remember that hydrogen is a carrier of energy. All right. Um, now you have um, what we have here. You got boron. Boron is another gas that's within um, our atmosphere. All right. Boron is a gas within our atmosphere. All right, so boron is the, let's see, the neon is, is number 10, boron is, is number five, it's the fifth element, all right, which is boron, and connected to boron is carbon 50, all right, connected to boron is carbon 50, then you got boron, you got carbon 50, and then you got boron carbon 50 then right here you got hydrogen and carbon 50 so for every element it's just about height it's, it's just about uh, one hydrogen element connected one hydrogen atom connected to all the elements and that's this is what i saw when i was the ascended masters leader teaching me about the atmosphere okay we've got nitrogen right here this is nitrogen all right and you see nitrogen, you got carbon 50. Then link it off of that is nitrogen, carbon 50. And then you got hydrogen that's right here that separates the nitrogen, the carbon, the, the atom, the, the carbon 50. And then from there, it, it links off carbon 50 right there. And then nitrogen links off from there. Nitrogen is extremely hot as well. 
all right but it's not as hot as uh hydrogen is all these gases are hot all these gases are extremely high energy gases okay so we've got helium which is um number two you got helium which is number two and then you got carbon 50 connected to it and then you got helium again coming down carbon 50 and then there's a hydrogen atom there and then a carbon 50 all right so we're looking at um hydrogen connected now there is one atom that i learned that did not have hydrogen linked on to it okay and um i did like seven elements all right so you got fluorine which is carbon 50. you see you get the fluorine carbon 50 fluorine carbon 50 you see the carbon 50 then the chlorine but then connected to the fluorine is neon all right and neon is a is a powerful extremely powerful gas um I think we did a video of those one time before. We're going to go through those gases again so you guys can learn about the gases. But you got neon, and then neon, from the neon, it connects chlorine, carbon 50, and then that neon, that's carbon 50 connected to the neon. Now, when we deal with oxygen, all right, this is oxygen. Oxygen is number eight right here. This is oxygen, all right. You got oxygen, carbon 50, oxygen, carbon 50. Then from there, you got a carbon 50 that's linked into, oh, get this right here together, right? You got a carbon 50 that's linked into this one here, all right? And then you got a hydrogen atom that's connected to there with carbon 50, all right? And then you got another oxygen. And then this last one I had right here is hydrogen. Now, connected to hydrogen is not itself. And you would think that hydrogen would double itself, but it's not. So you got hydrogen, you got carbon 50, you got hydrogen, carbon 50, you got hydrogen, that's carbon 50, link onto the hydrogen. But then from there, it links into oxygen, oxygen with the carbon 50, all right? So the hydrogen gas has got an oxygen, um, gas or uh, uh, ox the hydrogen atom has got an oxygen atom linked into it with carbon 50 which is carbon 50 is nothing but dark energy dark matter all right so you got hydrogen you that's got that's linked to oxygen and then you got carb um you got oxygen the carbon 50 i didn't do carbon and um i'll i'll you know i'll do this some more later on um, but this is doing the gases. Then you got fluorine that's got um, neon connected with it. So in all this right here, when you're talking about the gases that's within our atmosphere, you're talking about some powerful forces because the gases is what makes up our atmosphere. All right. Um, and these Saxons know their bodies are not equipped to take what comes from our atmosphere. Because what happens is you have dark carbon, you have uh, dark oxygen, you have dark hydrogen, you have dark xenon, you have dark um, uh, fluorine, you got dark nitrogen. That's what that's what happens. It, 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 it then becomes dark. It becomes a dark force. Our sun gives off carbon dioxide, which our, our sun is soon to be given off uh, car carbon dihydrogen, all right, which um, it, our atmosphere is shifting over to a hydrogen-based atmosphere, as you can see on the model that we did. So all the gases, literally, there's a hydrogen connected to all of them. But if you look at that that model, these models that were, cre that, that were made, and if you look at this on a broad scale, you can see this going on forever and ever and ever. And that's what goes across the atmosphere. All right, so that's why the atmosphere is so hot. And this is why these Saxons are working so hard to cool the atmosphere down because we have a lot of dark energy and a lot of, a whole lot of hydrogen that's in the atmosphere at this present moment. So we must understand, we must understand, we must overstep the chemistry that is taking place at this present moment. And it's important that we, uh, as the original beings, 
look into how to expand this energy. All right, expand this energy. Um, as we are in the lower atmosphere. Okay, you got to remember we are in the lower atmosphere. All right, the upper atmosphere is up there. You know, we know about the upper atmosphere. So we are in the lower atmosphere, and this is it is important for us to work on. Um, bringing the lower atmosphere into balance. All right, we we were doing some some heavy work uh, before, and these Saxons came in and literally um, threw us off balance by throwing Kanye in there, by throwing uh, Kyrie Irving in there. They threw, they literally threw. They, I mean, they always cheat. It's not where well, it's, it's not a game, but you know, I just say it in the state, in the state of them not doing things according to balance. All right, so they literally threw a fork in the road, or they threw something. The, the, you know, it's like you throw that thing out there to make your tire flat, go flat. And now you know you gotta wait to change the tire. And um, so that you can move forward again. And this is what's taking place at this present moment, brothers and sisters. So what we're looking at is some powerful energy that is in our atmosphere at this present moment. These models that you see are um, literally the uh, gases that's currently in our atmosphere, all right? So we have a lot of dark energy in the atmosphere, dark argon, dark boron, dark xenon, all right? All of this is dark energy, all right? What causes these Saxons to, what they call sunburn? They're not getting burned by the sun. They're getting burned by the dark energy, and this is what really put them in fear. When, uh, like that, when I did that short, and that one Saxon say, "Oh, this is supposed to be cold season. It's not supposed to be. It's not supposed to be warm." It wasn't that it was warm. It was the dark energy that was offsetting their bodies. So when the sun is out, when when we have you know this pure sunlight, like we had for those days, that was nothing but pure dark energy in the atmosphere. And the dark energy was hurting them and they were calling for their leaders, their people, their leaders to expand or to to create cold weather so that that dark energy wouldn't affect their bodies because the dark energy was killing them. And they didn't want to tell you how many of them actually died during that those so-called warm. I mean, those whatever the last couple of months that was really, really warm. A lot of their people died. All right, because their 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 bodies could not take the energy, and they were were not going to report those deaths. But they, you know, sprung in action. They found a way to try to offset the energy that was uh that was already that's already been uh, in the state of evolution on our realm. All right, so they were literally working day in and day out brothers and sisters. So they have leaders who are guy who are who are protecting them, who are you know, who are making sure that their bodies don't um burn. All right? They have leaders to make sure that their bodies don't burn. And our brothers and sisters say we're well, looking for leaders. But there are no oh, I lead you all. I lead you all into the the right way of balance, but as a whole, there are no brothers and sisters out here talking to you all about the the chemistry and how everything operates here um, within the um, atmosphere. All right, there 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 is there is no brother or no sister who is actually talking about the atmosphere, who's actually explaining how everything works um, here on our realm. All right, so. Just wanted to share it with you all. Um, this is literally a dark atmosphere. All right, our atmosphere is literally a dark atmosphere. It's an atmosphere that is full of dark energy. It's full of multiple 
uh, uh, levels of carbon 50, which is nothing but dark energy, as well as it is full of hydrogen. All right. And we we talked about we talked about um, our our realm becoming a hydrogen based realm. You know, that's what that's one thing we talked about is our realm becoming a hydrogen based realm. All right. So it's important that we understand what is taking place and how we are to begin moving into um, expanding the energies of this lower atmosphere so we can make things warm and hot so that we can begin to work on destroying their system that they created um, for their people. Because right now, these Saxons are literally walking around here with shorts and t-shirts on right now. All right, brothers and sisters. So just wanted to share that with you guys. I'll catch you guys a little later. All right, you know the deal. All power to the multi chakra celestial angelic beings. May cash run with you forever and ever and ever. And remember, cash brings change, not peace. Which power to you all?